On Saturday, the African Union unanimously resolved that President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto should not appear before the International Criminal Court, where they both face crimes against humanity charges. We have also adopted our decision speaking with one voice. In the resolutions read by Ethiopia's Prime Minister Haile Mariam Dessalain, African states made it clear that no charges should start or continue before any international court or tribunal against any serving head of state or government or anybody acting or entitled to act in such capacity during their term of office. Kenyatta had earlier said that the court was being used by some Western powers to force the Kenyan presidency to adopt certain policies favorable to them. Over a period of time there has been concerns by uh, mainly African leaders about the uh, impartiality of the court. So I think that's what is uh, leading to this uh, new trend. But Kakunguru Mayambala of Makerere University's School of Law says the ICC had little to do with the situation Kenyatta finds himself in, a scenario shared by his Ugandan counterpart in the case of the Lord's Resistance Army. It is the, the Uhuru who decided that for us we, we want to go to the ICC. Now the ICC did what we call seized the matter. Seizing is taking over the matter. Now once it has taken over the matter, then it continues with the matter, so it cannot drop it. The same thing happened here. The president, seven later, wanted to uh, ask the ICC to withdraw the indictment of Joseph Konya and the other commanders, and then the ICC received. So once the ICC has seized the matter, then uh, it's not possible because ICC is based on the principle of complementarity. But why would President Museveni now want the ICC to back off from dealing with the LRA? That was in the beginning, because in the beginning it was the bad guy, Joseph Kony, uh, who is going to be tried by the ICC. If the ICC was to pick interest, for example, to investigate the UPDF also, then uh, probably the president would not have been uh, very eager with the ICC as he was. And then now you can see they've started going for the African leaders. When the, the ICC goes for one of their own, they are always uh, reluctant. But if it's going after the intergandas of this world, these rebel groups, then uh, they, they, I think the leaders would not be so much bothered. That Uganda which requested the ICC to try such notorious uh, rebels who had committed heinous crimes against Ugandans. Now we are turning around to say we don't want the ICC. Just like Remiaga MP Theodore Sejikubo, Bugweri legislator Abdu Katuntu feels African honkos are trying to prepare soft landing grounds for themselves when tables turn on them. So the reasons the African heads of states are giving actually are the same reasons why we need the ICC. Because they are saying, so long as I'm a president, I don't have to be touched. And the ICC is saying, no, if you have committed any of these four crimes, it doesn't matter what you are in your country, you are going to be tried. So, are these double standards? It is a case of double standards because the, the justice, it is not that the ICC is not administering justice, but they are looking at it from whose side. So why did we make referrals? Why are we... Why are we practicing double standards? However, Dr. Mayambala says the AU could have a point to argue their case out. The only way, since those states are not parties, can only be uh, by a UN Gender Assembly referral. And of course, you know Syria, Russia would veto the decision. Uh, Israel, America would veto the decision. But for President uh, Bashir, uh, they, 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 it would be unanimous. So those, those are some of the contradictions. Kenya's Deputy President William Ruto traveled back to The Hague last night despite African Union's resolution that he and President Kenyatta should skip their trials. AU pressure, however, seems to be bearing its first fruit with a deal by Western diplomats in the offing that would see President Kenyatta's ICC trial deferred for a year. The proposal is due to be presented to the United Nations Security Council. Gabriel Penu, NTV.